What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei here to bring you version 3 of the Google upcoming dividend scripts. So hopefully you guys are excited to actually see version 3 because I'm really excited to show you guys the new updates. And one thing before we do get started, just for anybody that's brand new and checking out the channel or checking out this video, let's go ahead and show them exactly what we mean by the uh, scripts. So this is actually a copy of my current dividend script, uh, well, Google Sheets. And what we have with these scripts is that you'll add these to your Google Sheets and then you'll get a pop-up or a tool at the very top and you get dividend tools and you can click on this. It'll basically go out, collect all the dividends that are for your uh, companies that you have. So we have a tickers here. So this is would be basically kind of like our portfolio. So we have some Johnson Johnson, Microsoft, Visa, Apple, AT&T, 3M, Starbucks. So at this point, you could uh, click get dividends, get upcoming dividends. This would go out, grab and collect all your upcoming dividends. So this is kind of what this is. So this is sorted out by pay date so that we know that on November uh, 27th, uh, we would get paid by Starbucks and it actually is an amount of 45 cents per share an annual dollar 80 and then they actually declared a dividend increase this quarter as well as visa and then you can see johnson and johnson didn't declare an increase but uh, they will be paying out in uh, december 8th and then this over here is sorted by x dividend dates so that basically we're on the 17th today so we could meet the x dividend date for 3M and Johnson and Johnson and get the dividend for that payout. So that's kind of like what the dividend script is. So if you guys are interested, stick around. Uh, you'll actually actually want to go and um, check out version one and version two of the scripts because uh, right now with this video of version three, I'm going to assume that you guys have already have this script running. So you guys are that's where it'll pick off. So definitely check those out. I'll add a pop up on the top right with uh, those uh, links to those videos. Also, I'll have a link in the video description, especially with anything that I uh, provide and I show here. So the repositories, any type of uh, content, I'll definitely leave it in the video description. So be sure to check that out. Uh, but yeah, guys, so that's the gist of it for any new subscribers. Uh, and yeah, so right here, we're gonna show you guys exactly what is in version three. So let's jump over to GitHub. And so you'll see that here's my username, Coding Sensei. There's a new repository, so Dividend Portfolio Tracker. And this is actually a completely, diff completely different new repository. So the other one is gonna get deprecated. So we're gonna be moving forward. This repository is basically gonna be holding all our scripts for our Google Sheets. So this is gonna be designed in a way that it's easy to add more to it and contribute to it in the future. But for us, what we care about is version one, which in our case is really version three for us. So if we go over here to the right, you'll see something called releases. You'll click on this and then um, you'll see 1.0.0, but uh, it's technically version three. So this is kind of like a release notes for right now for our version three. And uh, you guys can go ahead and read it out. Uh, but basically what it provides is a reorganization of the scripts and this will allow us to uh, add new scripts in the future just like i mentioned earlier it also deprecates the old repository so you can click on this look check out the old repository and um, one of the other things is that it provides a dividend raise bug fix so there was a incorrect calculation in hours so um actually a shout out to carlos for pointing that out and uh, helping us fix that so uh, version 3 does contain basically just a reorganization you're not going to get that many features besides a bug fix for the dividend raises and um yeah guys this is actually going to enable us for adding the holdings script that i've been working on recently that i've showed you guys in the previous videos so you guys will definitely need version 3 of this so definitely follow this video and then uh, when I release the next video for how to calculate your holdings and projected annual income, you'll be ready to go. Uh, but hopefully with uh, version 4, I will hopefully fix the ETF annual payout. So stay tuned with that guys. But that's definitely the release for that version. 
you guys can come back and check out those releases this will start populating with more releases as we add more but let me actually show you guys with uh, the steps that we are going with so you're gonna see here there's a red readme but that one's not very important the one that's important is you're gonna click portfolio tools scripts so at this point and actually really what I need to show you guys is because we have other releases you're actually gonna click release again and you'll be able to look at the repository if you click on this well not this if you actually click on right here this should take you that at that point in time of that release so you know you'll be able to have all those files in case they do get reorganized in another release so click on the portfolio tool scripts you'll also see right here that it changed to v100 so make sure that that says that for that video uh, but you'll see two files here you'll get latest dividends.gs and then main.gs and uh, this basically is that readme from the old repository so how to like do the queries and stuff so you should have all of this stuff set up if you followed version 1 and uh, version 2 of the previous video uh, but yeah so let's go ahead and get started so we're gonna put up our Google Sheets and so first thing we're gonna do here is that we are going to go to tools go to script editor and then right here we're gonna wait till this comes up and so you guys should be at this point in time with version 2 again this is where I'm picking off so uh, one of the things that I'm gonna go here is I'm actually gonna rename this to something more appropriate because now we're gonna have multiple different types of scripts and uh, get upcoming dividends doesn't really uh, meet that criteria and it doesn't make sense to have that so we're gonna name this portfolio tools I think that sounds pretty good uh, and then one of the things here is that you should already have these three variables already declared so you don't have to worry about any of this first thing we're gonna actually do is we're gonna rename this to main and now you should have, see something called main.gs so if we go back over to github click main.gs on this one uh, you should be able to copy this for us right here right click copy go back here and we're actually gonna go right here where it says line 5 function we're gonna actually delete everything for that and we all we should have is the three variables that we had earlier and we're just gonna paste that new code so it should look something like this for us and actually that's pretty much it for main.gs we're gonna want to go back to the github we're gonna go back one and we're gonna open the get latest dividends.gs so you're gonna click on this one and then you're actually gonna click raw and then you'll copy this and then uh, you're gonna go back here and we're gonna create a new file so new script file and you're gonna call this get latest dividends.gs and so you should see this now we're gonna wipe all of this and we're actually gonna paste our content there and so if we go to the very top you should see everything there for us and then the main GS you should be good to go we're gonna save this click save all and at this point in time we should be good to go uh, we're gonna go back over to the Google Sheets and just to double check we're gonna probably add a new ticker uh, what should we add let's try adding um, cost see if that picks it up I think we should be good here so I think if uh, we actually click dividend tools well actually we're gonna have to refresh and then you're gonna see a change in the buttons for us here so once it's done it used to say dividend tools but now we should see it change so now you should see portfolio tools you're gonna click on this 
get latest dividends because that's what we care about let it run latest dividends here this should get wiped and we should see costco's get picked up which is awesome and then dividend payout if we scroll down all our calculations should be correct now so you are completely up to date now with version 3 all of this reorganization should be ready to go and you should also see the dividend increase uh, calculation correctly so that's pretty easy guys that's how you do uh, version 3 and I will be working on the new script that we're going to be adding on top of this to be able to grab the new holdings and just to give you guys a sneak peek let me pull that up real quick all right guys, so I have the real Google Sheets uh, dividend tracker spreadsheet pulled up and this is basically what the new script that I'm working on that I'll be making a tutorial now uh, you'll be able to calculate your projected annual income up from annual to month to week to day per hour so that's pretty neat and this is actually gonna be pulled from your brokerage so uh, I think it's gonna currently work for Robinhood uh, Fidelity and three uh not three m m1 uh so yeah uh hopefully you guys are looking forward to that because i think it's actually really cool and uh this version three is going to set us up for it uh but if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe hit that bell notification if you haven't done so already and don't forget to support the channel by simply hitting that like button that's all i ask in return i do spend a lot of time in writing these scripts and sharing them with you guys so all i ask in return is hitting that thumbs up and if you guys uh, have any questions, uh, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I will also see you in the comment section with any new uh, feedback or any cool comments that you guys always leave. So uh, yeah, guys, this is actually wraps up that video. I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys. <laughs>